Hey everyone, and welcome to this guide on how to use default props in React, specifically in functional components. Now in this example, we'll be using TypeScript with functional components in React, and we'll be adding default values to props. Now how do we do that? Currently, we're in the index file with the app component, which is being fed by the hello component, uh, which has the prop of name. And we'll have a look at that shortly. But let's have a look at how default props work currently in React. So right now, if we take the app component and we add default props and we turn it into an object, and if we say wrapper name, we'll give it uh, the default value of, let's say, Barry. And we then decide that we are going to delete what's currently there and let's add the prop wrapper name. Now, obviously, since we haven't destructured this, we'll have to add uh, props. So that's linking into that uh, function parameter there. So now you can see that the default value that we're setting from default props is showing. But the problem with that is that default props is actually getting uh, deprecated by React in functional components. So that's not going to be a thing in the future. You can still use it in class-based components, but in functional components, that will eventually be phased out. The reason being is you don't need a React-based solution for this. The solution comes in the form of native JavaScript. And in native JavaScript, we can destructure and set a value of basically a key value in an object, in this case, a prop. So if we get rid of this again, and we set this back to Curious Byte, so that is back to normal. And what we'll do is we'll go to the hello component. So in the hello component, we have the name prop, and that's been set here, and that's all well and good. Now the way in which you normally set the default value with JavaScript is through destructuring. So that's what we'll do now. We'll take this function parameter of the props and delete that. And instead, what we'll do is we will have uh, an object in here. Uh, we will have, let's say, name. And we will make that equal to Barry. So what we're saying is you're taking in the hello props. And we are setting the name value. And you can see by the syntax highlighted that it's already connected to that. And we will set that value to Barry. Now, because we've destructured it, we actually don't know, uh, don't need the props prefix here. So we can actually delete that. And once we do that, we can see that it's working again. But it's showing curious by the reason being, if we save this, go to index, is that we've set it as a string here. Now, because it's an optional prop, all we need to do is simply delete that. And once we delete that, we have the default prop value. Now, that isn't the best way to do it. The reason I say that is if we go back here and we have a look to see how this is done, it can get quite messy. So let's say, for example, you start building this up and we have multiple values. Um, it can start to add up and it doesn't look quite as neat. So the general rule of thumb when doing this is if we delete this and we put this back as it was, add hello props here, what we're going to do is we are going to destructure it, but we're going to do it in a different way. So we are going to go here and put the props in a variable of name. And we are going to say that is equal to props. So we're going to say this uh, constant name is equal to props up here. So that's all connected now. And that's fine. That that will uh, work just the same. But at this point here, we are going to set the default value. So here we're going to say, and there you go. So now we have default props working in a much simpler, 
much more native JavaScript way. And that's the reason why they got rid of default props because it's redundant now. So if in the future you ever come across this scenario where your component needs a default value, needs some default styling and a class name, this is what you should use. Now, if we go back to here, well, let's give this a bit of a more serious name, a bit of a more real world value name. Let's say we'll call it uh, default name. So people will know if this turns up, then obviously this needs to be changed. Uh, so if we go here and then we, what we say is we'll set the name value and we will set it to um, wrapper name. Obviously we have to do that as a prop. And you can see that wrapper name basically has no value. So this is a prop on the front. And because we've not actually set a value, that instantly becomes a default value, which is set here. And it's as simple as that. And that is the most common way of doing default props in functional components. Now, if you found that useful, like and subscribe. As always, I've been Harry and this has been Curious Byte.